In this experiment, we're going to stress this plastic bottle here. This is a thick plastic bottle, and we're going to test the plastic to see how this plastic could hold up to extremely high voltages. And the way that we're going to do this is using this device here. This device consists of a voltage multiplier here, which generates 40,000 volts. And then that 40,000 volts then goes into this twin tower uh, voltage multiplier, which takes the 40,000 and multiplies it by 20 times. You get enormous voltages building up um, at these two terminals. And this side is negative and this side is positive. So with the bottle like that, the inside of the bottle is gonna get positively charged and the outside of the bottle is going to become negatively charged. And because of the extremely high voltage, it's possible to keep forcing charge onto this bottle until it can no longer hold the charge, in which case some kind of breakdown event is going to occur. So either the plastic on the bottle will, <clears throat> will fail and a hole will develop in the plastic, or it will undergo what's known as, as a flashover, in which an extremely bright flash of light will occur where the charge on the inside of the bottle will jump out to the charge on the outside and complete the circuit. In order for me to film the experiment and watch what happens, I'm gonna use a remote control to start this whole process. So we're gonna be begin the experiment by charging this up. That bright flash is known as a flashover. The bottle is still intact, luckily. Let's try that again. Although it's hard to tell from the um, video, that's about as bright as a camera flash. Now, what I'm gonna do is do a time-lapse of what's happening as the bottle charges up and then eventually flashes over. Here goes. All that charging up filled this bottle with a lot of, of extra charge. So I'm gonna see what it does to this neon bulb that I put in here. Hang on a sec, let's put this in. See all that extra charge in there? Look at the way that thing is lighting up. And I'm feeling quite a bit of electricity going through my arms actually doing this. Oops, ouch. So this thing is highly charged from just pushing electrons on the outside. Whoa. Still more charge in it. This is amazing how much how much charge just a plastic bottle can hold. I'm sure if I just left this, it would hold that charge for a long time. All I'd need to do is cap it and come back the next day and I bet it the charge would still be in it. But as you can see, this bottle has really stored up a lot of electricity. Okay, I'm just holding this bottle up against the light here. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of lightning burns. It's formed a bunch of kind of Lichtenberg figures. That just shows you the tremendous amount of energy. Well, I do hope you enjoyed watching this video on charging up a plastic bottle to flash over point. And uh, if you have any questions about this video or want to know more about the experiment or how to make the um, Marx generator, please don't forget to reach out and uh, leave me a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks. And don't forget to keep on experimenting.